What's going on fellas? I've got a 2003 Honda Accord here. And I'm gonna use this vehicle to show you a few things about the operation of the radiator fan and the AC condenser fan. So first question you may have, there's two fans here. Which one is the radiator fan? Which one is the AC condenser fan? So the fan on the passenger side, which is this one right here, that is known as the AC condenser fan. And the driver's side, that is what Honda calls your radiator fan. So the two fans there, so I'll go ahead and point over to the uh, fuse box here. We're gonna pop this open. Now each fan has its own 20 amp fuse. So the 20 amp fuse for the condenser fan, again, that's the one on the passenger side, that's gonna be this one right here. And the driver's side fan, that receives power from this 20 amp fuse. So what sends the power to the actual fans? Well, that's the job of the relay, and again, each fan has its own fuse. Each fan also has its own relay. So the relay that sends power to the fan on the driver's side, the condenser fan, that's gonna be this relay right here. You can remove it pretty easily by just wiggling it. You don't wanna squeeze it too hard or you can splinter it. And the relay for the driver's side, the radiator fan, is gonna be this one right there. Now while I have this off, I just wanna point out to you few uh, things about this relay. So you'll notice two of the legs of the relay are skinny, two of the legs are thicker. The skinnier legs of the relay, those are what receive the electrical signals to get activated. So these two pins right there. And when the relay is activated, all it does is it connects the two larger pins together. So it would connect those two slots. So one of those pins receives power from the uh, fuse the other pin goes directly to the relay. So if you pull a relay out, and if you have like a very thick paper clip or some wire, you can actually connect those two legs together and see if the fan comes on if you're powering it directly like that. So what triggers these relay? Uh, there's, there's actually two different things that can cause the relay to get activated. And you activate the relay by sending it at ground. So the computer of the car can send a ground to the relay to activate it. And the computer might do that if you turn on the air conditioning or if the computer detects that the car is overheating through the engine coolant temperature sensor. There's another thing that can provide the ground as well on this car, and that's what's known as the radiator fan switch. So most cars don't have this, but this Honda does. So there's actually a switch at the bottom of the radiator right here. There's a wax pellet in there and when the temperature exceeds a certain amount, all this does is it connects those two wires together. And when those two wires are connected together, that grounds the relay and causes it to activate. Now, we've, we've discussed how the relay receives the ground. What actually sends the power to the relay? So there's a fuse in here, a seven and a half amp fuse. And it's this one right here. So that actually provides power to both of those relays constantly. Again, the, the relays are activated not by the power, but by the ground. And uh, one more tip as well, you know, let's say you've tested all the fuses, you've swapped the relays around and everything is good. Probably the best way I've found to see what's going on is to just disconnect it, disconnect the fan in question you can see if it spins freely. A lot of times the fan won't even move when the motor's locked up. And with it disconnected, the black wire, you should measure ground. And the, in this case, the blue black wire, the other side has a blue yellow wire. That's where the power comes in when the relay is activated. So if you throw a voltmeter in here, you should be measuring power if everything's working properly. So if you see power between those two pins, but the fan's not turning, then you know you have a bad fan. So yeah, I've given you guys a lot to uh, go over and troubleshoot. I hope it was helpful. Be sure to let me know if you have any questions or more importantly, if you have any advice about troubleshooting the fans on your Honda Accord. Thanks for watching.